beyond all the rest, bound by democratic values to make us strong, and by our sacred oath that an attack against — it is a sacred oath. Attack against one is an attack against all, because each member of NATO knows that the strength of our people and the power of our unity cannot be denied. If I sound optimistic, it's because I am. Today, our alliance remains a bulwark of global security and stability, as it's been for more than seven decades. NATO is stronger, more energized, and, yes, more united than ever in its history. Indeed, more vital to our shared future. It didn't happen by accident. It wasn't inevitable. When Putin and his craven lust for land and power unleashed his brutal war on Ukraine, he was betting NATO would break apart. He was betting NATO would break. He thought our unity would shatter at the first testing. He thought Democratic leaders would be weak. But he thought wrong. Faced with the threat — faced with the threat the peace and stability of the world, to the democratic values we hold dear, to freedom itself, we did what we always do. The United States stepped up, NATO stepped up, our partners in Europe and, the input, and in the Indo-Pacific stepped up. All across the world, they stepped up. And we're ready. We were ready because we stood together. In the months leading up to the war, as Putin amassed his forces on the Ukrainian border and laid the groundwork for his brutal invasion, it was, I was in constant contact with my fellow leaders of the G7 and the European Union and NATO, constantly. We warned the world what Putin was planning. Even some in Ukraine didn't believe we were what we had our intelligence community found. We made sure NATO was prepared to deter any aggression against any member state. We pursued intense diplomacy with Russia, seeking to avert this terrible war. And when Russia bombs began to fall, we did not hesitate to act. We rallied the world to support the brave people of Ukraine as they defend their liberty and their sovereignty with incredible dignity. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Think about it. Think about what they're doing. After nearly a year and a half of Russia's forces committing terrible atrocities, including crimes against humanity, the people of Ukraine remain unbroken. Unbroken. Ukraine remains independent. It remains free. And the United States has built a coalition of more than 50 nations to make sure Ukraine defends itself both now and is able to do it in the future as well.